Hello folks, I hope you're having a nice start of the new year and like everything's going all well. What we are going to have a look, see what's joined my Skymaster. Let's take a look. So, as you know, like, this is like what every watch collection is to have one of. The Commoner Garden Acura Skymaster. Working beautifully. It's absolutely spot on watch. You just cannot fault them for what you get. You know, it's, it's a very good watch. I, you know, and this is where the problem's been. Like, you know, I've not really rated Accurist as something, you know, any good. So you have to excuse the strap this is on, but I've run out of viable straps. How about this then? This is an Accurist. Well, in fact, if you give me a second. It may even like fire up. This here is an Accurist 6L34. Or well, it's the next one up from. If you give me a second, I will grab it. From this one. Now, this one is the Twin Crown job, okay? From my OSA. Whereas this one. It's the single crown. And you, instead of like, um, when you set the date, if you turn it one way, the date will advance. you turn it the other way, the alarm advances. Right, and um, you pull the little button out to activate the alarm. And away it goes. Right. Gold plate. It's an older uh, Accurist, like before Time Company or wherever they are bought them. I, I just thought this was so unusual, and I paid very silly money for this. Now, all I've got to do is I, I want to find a nice gold curved end bracelet for this. Because... Uh, well, I can hear an alarm going off, but <laughs> there must be another alarm. Um, um, so there you go. Now the person I got this from said it wasn't working, and um, what it was is he didn't realise you have to pull the plunger out to activate the alarm, and you just push it in to turn off the alarm, which is pretty cool. Um, you know, I, I've been getting quite a few um, alarm watches. I mean, I absolutely adore that. I think that is absolutely amazing. That is, that is brilliant. Right. Unfortunately, these alarm watches are quite low sounding. So, what do you think of this then? Very, very dark navy blue dial. What was wrong with it was the number six baton has come off and. Um, Using a tiny blob of this brilliant watchmaker's glue, like GS glue or whatever you call it. It's got a tiny little like needle applicator, which is like really, it's like a little oiler. And um, I stuck it back on. Keeps good time. The only fly in the ointment is the day wheel isn't working. It's a 20105 uh, Myota. Now, I was looking at the new prices of these, like, they are insane for what is really a posh seconda. Uh, you know, I like it. I mean, it's, it's, it's nice on the wrist. It's it's comfortable. I mean, I've put it on. Uh, this one turned up with a broken bracelet. So I've put it onto my other Skymasters strap. After, like, you know, I had to, like, skive off a bit of... Um, 
There we go. Oh, I don't think that's bad at all. I like these two tone things, like you know, I, I, I. It's only because it's such a large case that I couldn't get any two tone braces. I've got here to fit it. So uh, there you go. So, but these are these are still for sale now. Like you know, these are still a current model. And we have like um, a bit of a surprise. Because not only did Seiko and Pulsar and all that do dancing hands watches, so did Accurist. It keeps brilliantly good time. I've got to. Uh, I, I I thought. I wonder why the alarm wasn't working. It's because there's a tiny little spring in there. I don't know if you can see that at all. Just by my thumb. All right, that came out. It's the contact that pushes up against the buzzer. All right, it's it's um. If you look at the bottom thing, it's um. And I'm only set on time. There she goes. I have no idea what the alarm is. I forgot. I think it's six o'clock. Yep. That's the alarm time set. But it's not because that spring's not in it. It's not actually making any noise. Um, that's not set itself up properly. I don't know which one that is. Oh yeah, this has got a really cool feature. You see the date in the window, right? That actually, um, I have no idea what it's doing. Other than it's telling the right time, of course. <laughs> you know. It needs setting up. It's a very complex setting up, and I, I still haven't got it right. I, you know, um, <clears throat> Lou. Oh, I've got a new torch, by the way. Loom is very good on this. On the hands. And it's a, it's, a, it's a lobster type bracelet. Now I wore this nearly for a whole week. And look at that. Now this is the Myota AS Focus You Bloody Phone. AS10 movement. Um, it's very similar to the OS10 so it has a few more refinements. Like it can tell you the month like you know on the date part of it like you know it's a very very complex watch that if it's not set up right it doesn't work right other than the time like you know but i like it i mean it's a very manly modern watch like you know i never thought to check to see if there's loom on any of these did i oh no that's got no loom And neither is that. Um, 
I mean, I've seen these advertised right online now. They're in stock now. 159 quid. I can't believe it. I mean, what is that? Like, you know, I mean, is it play, uh, palladium, bloody platinum and gold? Like, you know, I mean, is it that solid gold? What, why is this so expensive? I mean, what it is, is it's got the same sort of quartz movements that um, Sconters have. Give that a go. Do do do. You know that. Now that's loom. Although it's very difficult to see it in the daylight, in the daytime, like you know, it's like. So, we have others as well. Let's just put this away over there for a second. So I'm going to do the. Um, That's a bit of a Soviet going on, like, you know. Look at this. Keeping brilliant time on this original Seconda strap. In this original Seconda box. 15 pound. Now, uh, here's the other one of these I've got. I put a new crystal in it, but when I tightened the case back up, it snapped the bloody crystal. Now, if you notice, like, you know, they're both the same blue. So, But, as the gods of either eBay have um, provided, like, um, I found one of my sellers had a clean, flawless crystal case, everything, with delivery, five quid. Bang. So, I've got that. So, this one will live once again. I was really, really chased off about that. So, um, let's have a quick look at, see how this one looks and the rest. I don't like the strap. That is coming off. I'm sorry, Seconda, but, you know, it's just horrible. It's, it's just too, you know, it, it's not very pleasant. Um, I'm not. I'm not really a fan of wearing leather on me on my wrist anyway. Like you know, it's only because like you know. There we go. Keeps absolutely spotless time. I mean, it's absolutely has lost a second since I wound it up. I cannot complain. As you can see, it's got very little wear on it. So I may just leave this as it is. Uh, what else have we got in the pot, like, you know? Another Seconda. Now this one, despite the bloke saying it was like service and everything, right? It keeps dropping, dropping minutes. This is the Seconda Baker, Rakita Baker. As you can see, I've put it on another one of these bracelets. I love this, I, you know. 80 mil bracelet, it's a Kikita movement. <sighs> Insanely stiff bracelet clasp. Look at that. That looks the dog's done it. That really does. There's a little bit of damage on the left and the right hand side of the dial. I don't care. You know, I'm going to leave that as it is. I haven't set the date up on it, like, you know, because I need to find out why it's slow. Because right. this is supposed to be service. So, like, you know, it may be that in transit it got nudged. We shall see. But we've got one more to come. Woohoo! This one is supposed to be working perfectly. Well, I don't think it is. But it keeps stopping in the night, if you know what I mean. Now, you know, lot like, I had um, something break recently, and I was really, really gutted. I got another one. <laughs> now, the strap off the other one is now, the uh, bracelet is now on this, because the bracelet on that on this one was just so stretched. It was like, you know, you could I could have fitted it around my ankle. Uh it stops in the night, and I don't know why. 
I don't think it likes being face down. Look at that. That is what you call a beast of a watch. You know, I put a Renata AG13 in there. I put, um, I oiled up the vegetable jewels. I like, you know, I gave it a bit of a dust out and everything. I, you know, when my crystal polish turns up, the crystal polish will get done. The crystal will get done. I, I've been having to go to Agassi Cloth. I've got some Peaks polish coming for it. I, you know, this is going to gleam like it's brand new. And I've got three others of these for spares. Right, you know, so I don't know what's wrong with that. Why it just keeps losing every so long. It just turns itself off for about half an hour in the night. I have no idea why. Right, you know, it's nothing. It's not the um, hands or anything impacting. Or you know, there's good clearance all round. I've swirled them round. So you know, but this is the Slava Tank Quartz. And one of my projects I've got to do to work on, to work on, or you know, doing a bit of an art right there. Where are you, you bugger? Right. Ah, is that you there? Is that you there? Yes. You know, I like big watches, and I cannot lie. I've got to change the balance on this. Oh, hello, something just fell out. What was that? That wasn't very good. Slava Tank Quartz Auto. Oh, Slava Tank Auto, not Quartz Auto. With a very unusual forest green dial. The, what's it? The, um... Ah, that's what fell out of it. It was um, the it was the back ring. Um, the balance on this is smashed to pieces, Lloyd. You know the spring is knackered, and everything, Lloyd. You know, I mean, it, the balance is just never going to work again. But with a wind, it works. It's, it's got a nice backwards and forwards, nice free movement of the pallet, flight fork and that. So this will be a simple job. Uh, oh, there he is. Oh, come here. Oh, I bloody hate watch bits. I really do. You'll have to excuse me. Yeah. I need to get a what right in bureau. Oh, right, you know, because I'm fed up with bits going everywhere. Alright, so. There you go. That's a bit of a catch up. Right, let's go to the up view and. Uh, We'll see what's what. So I've been um, busy. I've bought. Uh, let's just show this one off because I'm so overloaded with watches. I've bought a 24 slot case, which I'm going to look at see if I can mount on the wall or something like you know, just have it up like you know, like that. See if it will stay like you know. Uh, I also bought. A much needed tool tidy. And I mean much needed. I you know and it's just so good where I can just put put my tools in and then just have them, you know, now I've got my pliers, my scraper pens, got my screwdrivers, I, you know very chintzy plastic build I had to spray over it with acrylic paint because the silver paint was just rubbing off as you can see and the way it's like the patchiness there but you know it does it's like, you know that's what it says in the tin uh, oh, there you go up you go so as you can see it's all been going on here like you know so well, let's put him in there Oh, nice, Hello, Harry. You got seconda? Well, I don't know if that's what it was. Right, you know. Right, where's me? Um. Ah, there he is. See, it's nice to have like a big display case and everything. But to be honest, I prefer to, or, or boxes rather. But look, I prefer to keep them all in one. You know, keep all my bushels in one 
or a barrow sort of thing, or you know, because it's um, it is like you know, irritating, like you know, when you've got to like take them out of the boxes and boxes, the little boxes are nice, but you know, they're not the best thing in the world, or uh, you know, they're not the strongest thing in the world. Uh, uh, here we go. You can go there. Like. Oh, hello, Gilly's moving around. Don't you come up here. <laughs> Gratuitous shot of her. Um, there we go. No, like, he's still going, like, you know. Oh, I love these. They are brilliant, aren't they? So, all I've got to do with the bracelet now is that that link there, as you can see, it's a little, oh, is it, what, it was, yeah, it's the other one, it's a bit loose. I've just got to nip it up with, like, you know, like a, a drift and tap ham, tapping hammer. So, I hope this finds you well, like, and um, hope you're enjoying all the lockdown lunacy that's been going on and all that, like... I was really annoyed with that, like, you know, I tightened the case back up, Job, it was in nice, I tightened the case back, and I mean, it wasn't like I was hanging on it, like, you know, with like a, what's it, a 12 foot bar, like, or something like that, I mean, I'm just using me, like, uh, what's it, case back key, and this made this, went, click, and it was like, what was that, look round, and as you can see, it's snapped over by the nine. No, there you go. Bloody Soviet rubbish, isn't it? Like, you know, that's a very nice blingy dress watch, I think. Like, you know, like, it's part of the uh, the new accurist branch. Right, I'm going to keep that out because I'm going to do the spring for that in a bit. I, you know, I would like to show it, but I, you know, it's still like it's with this magnifier on and all that. It's it's difficult, like, you know, to like. Need to just get to it, like you know, because like you know, it's great big like you know, Darth Vader like forehead and everything. All right, this I'm really looking forward to because I just love that green solid steel, like you know. I mean, it's brilliant, like. Right? And um, this is this is also getting a a balance transplant because. The um, hairspring on this is either so magnetised it can't be demagnetised, or it's permanently bent because of the magnetism. So that is getting um, a new balancing as well. I've got I've got a couple, like you know, so that's not a problem. Um, so I think that's what I think we're all kind of up to date with all the watch stuff, like you know. Oh yeah. I'm still not sure if I want to go with that one there on this Time Master. Right. Or the polished on this one. If I if I use the polished on this one, I've got to grind out like a couple of mil of the um, what's it? The um, Oh, where is it there? Uh, no, that's, that's where is it? There? Is it? I've got on this one here, like you, know, you see, there's two stem holes here. All right, I've got a Dremel out on the other one, like you'll see that there's quite a, quite a nice flat U. That one, like the, the um, edge that goes up a bit, and it impacts on this crown, so the crown can't go in a lock. All right, I mean that thing there works beautifully. I mean, it's I mean this is this is why you know you buy. Um, what you call it watches, Swiss watches, because they are just so bloody good, like, you know. Uh, I'm very pleased with that, like, you know. I mean, it's, it's on it's a, on a, a very, very original um, boilerplate bracelet. It's all highly polished and everything. I mean, that will be a constant wearer, that will be, when I'm not wearing that and slaver tank auto and all the rest of it, like, you know. So, but, uh, you know... Um, there's been a big thing in the vaping things, right? Like, you know, I don't know if you've know anybody knows about this, right? On the vape side of things, right? PayPal is starting to block vape shops and vape outlets, like you know, and it's like, 
Well, that's good, isn't it? Like, you know, when you buy stuff like, you know, alcohol and cigarettes, like, you know, people don't block you for that. Well, it, but it's like, you know, they're blocking vaping. I mean, what bollocks is that? Well, you know, so I, I'm, I'm not very happy about that. Like, you know, and like my very long term, like, um, wholesaler that I've been buying my e juices from, like, it says I can't take anything but bank transfer. Now he can't even take bank transfer. And it's like, you know, oh, hello. Hello. We have. Oh, you missed it. I don't know if you... He might have caught it. I, um, as you can hear that, I mean, it doesn't go for very long. But, I mean, it's there to remind you or something, like, you know. Um, so, like, you know, I'm PayPal's playing bloody God, like, you know, because, like, you know, they don't like vaping, like, you know. Even though vaping saves lives rather than kills people, like, you know. Like, smoking kills people, doesn't save lives, like, you know, I mean, alcohol, look how many people die every year from alcohol, because they won't let everybody know about bowel cancer and shit like that, like, you know, or they smash their cars up or kill somebody with their cars, like, you know, I mean, does see PayPal saying, oh, you can't buy alcohol, like, you know, so they're having a pop at us vapors, because some bloody, like, you know, American whatchamacallit, like, you know, he's, he's thinking, oh, I don't like vapors, let's punish him, like, you know, wankers. So, um, anyway, I'm not going to turn this into a political thing or anything like that, like, you know, so, like, I mean, we've had no snow, we've had some flakes, but nothing else, but I am very cold, like, I'm not sleeping, I'm getting about three hours kit, like, um, every 48 hours, like, you know, I am just fed up with it, like, I can't sleep, like, I get to sleep finally, and bang, three hours later, I'm up again, like, you know, and there's nothing, nothing on this earth that is going to get me to go back to sleep again for at least another day, like, you know, and, I mean, I've, I've asked some psychiatrists more sleeping tablets, but, like, you know, it's just, oh, no, you can't, like, you know, I don't care, like, you know, I mean, either give me some sleeping tablets, or I'm going to jump off a building or something, like, you know, because I can't do this, I feel awful all the time, you know, all I want to do is go to sleep, wake up eight hours later, and feel refreshed and ready for the day, like, you know, I, I don't, you know, if you can't sleep, like, you know, and you, you, you get to the point where you're, like, hang, bang, banging yourself on the head, like, you know, because of it, like, you know, so, um, I mean, I, I'm just going stir crazy, cabin fever or whatever you call it, like, you know, I think everybody's getting it a bit, like, you know, but, I mean, you know, but I've got my cats here, so I'm not going to do anything, like, you know, dodgy or anything like that to myself, like, you know, I mean, they're responsible, I'm a responsible person, like, you know, but I am getting desperate, like, you know, I mean, I even tried to, um, to drink myself to sleep the other night, and I drank um, half a bottle of lambs, um, what's it, four cans, litre cans of um, cider, like a good, uh, what's it, half a, half a small bottle of um, Bombay gin, and and uh, what's it, and I took a good dollar about Shana's Christmas present gin, like the Bramble gin, I mean, you know, nothing, nothing, not a thing, bang. You know, you're not sleeping, mate, Eli, you know. And it's like, oh, my God. <laughs> anyway, I'll leave that with you. I'm sorry this has been a bit longer, but it's been quite a lot to catch up, like, you know. Oh, yeah, when you're on uh, certain websites and that, watch out for this company called New Chic, right? They are asking something like 30 quid for this ring, which you can buy off of eBay for a quid. Right, you know. It's not that bad, it's just like, you know. I mean, do I look like, you know, like a driller, like, you know? I'll go around speaking like some yardy sort of dude, like, you know, yeah, to suck me to even all that, like, you know, not me, like, you know. Uh, you know, each to their own, like, you know, I think that, you know, we're entering into, you know, some quite dangerous waters right now, like, you know, so we shall see. Anyway, look after yourselves. Stay safe. Look out for people trying to give you COVID because they don't believe in it. Herd immunity is rubbish and all the rest of it. Get your vaccine sorted and then put it behind you, like, you know. And then once you've got your second vaccine dose, like, you know, you should be able to go to work and do all the other things because you're not, you're not going to get it, you know. You're not going to be a carrier, 
Like, you know, and there are so many people that they just don't care. You know, they 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 walk in like you know you see them in Aldi's and Asda's and that like you know they walk in in all smug and everything saying so, like you know like and then and somebody will walk up say so, why aren't you wearing masks I don't have to like and, you know and they're coughing and spluttering over the old deers and everything like you know and it's the old people that die they don't care like you know and I think that is something Britain has really lost is that you know we used to be a caring sharing society you know. And when you have these twats going out there saying, oh, I'm going to cough on you and kill you, like, you know, because they can. Oh, yeah, that's disgusting. Right. Stay safe. Watch out for the armpits. Watch out for dodgy Deptford people, like, you know, I mean, them Deptford people are right dodgy, like, you know, I mean, with it, what's it, they're fake Vespers and, like, you know, and Honda Melodies, like, running around and doing all the rest of it, like, you know. I you know, I mean when you when you buy a point in De in Deptford like, you know, it's it's half beer and it like, you know, it's half like, you know, what's it piss probably, like, you know, because they're watering it all down and everything, like, you know. Actually I shouldn't say that. I used to know Ian and Terry French who owned the um Deptford Arms in Deptford Centre. Like, you know, and like, I mean they never watered down anything that we ever bought in there, like, you know. But that's another story, I'll talk about that another time. Right. See you in the next one.